Hey, Wanderers. I'm Amanda. And I'm Ron. Welcome to Wanderlust. We've had our solo stove ranger for about a year, and we thought we would revisit and let you guys know what we've liked about it and what we maybe haven't liked about it and what we would do differently. So we've had a solo stove ranger for quite a while now. So we decided that we needed to uh, get some tools to go with that because I've noticed when using the solo stove, once it gets burning really, really well and really hot, it's kind of hard to get wood in there without uh, having to just drop it in there. So we decided to go ahead and invest in the solo stove fire pit tools. So this is a pair of tongs uh, and a uh, fire poker uh, for use with them and designed by Solo uh, Stove. They, uh, two tools, one is a fire poker with a nice bend uh, so you can get down in there. Um, looks like it's designed to be able to, to, to hook and move the, uh, the logs that are inside. And the other tool is an extremely large Set of so let's go test these out. Uh, we're gonna burn a fire tonight. It's one of the cooler nights we've had here in a while. So yes, people are gonna comment that the wood's not supposed to go over the top. That's absolutely correct. But when you have a ranger, unless you're able to cut the wood down, any wood that you buy anywhere is gonna be a little bit too big. It doesn't cause any problems, just be aware of it. Uh, but that's just the one of the challenges of having the smallest and most portable one of them. If you're cutting your own wood, you just cut it a little bit shorter than you would normal uh, wood. Like we said, unfortunately, uh, standard size wood that you buy at a um, gas station uh, or any place like that, it's a little too big for the, uh, the Ranger. Um, but the portability of it is, is what makes that uh, kind of okay uh, because you can really take it anywhere. So if you're cutting your own wood, obviously you want you can cut your own stuff. It doesn't um, put out too much smoke. Um, it smokes a little bit at first once it gets that secondary burn though going. Um, but it does put out quite a, a really good amount of heat for something as small as it is. You don't go through wood too fast uh, like I think I uh, hear that you do like with the, the big Yukon um, as far as that goes. Um, because we could burn, probably go through in an average night when we're just sitting out here, maybe four or five sticks, something like that. Um, and it keeps it burning and going really well. It works really well for doing s'mores and stuff like that with, uh, when you want to just have a small fire to be able to do that with friends. Um, maybe, you know, drink a beer, uh, sit outside and enjoy the evening. My favorite thing about it is the, um, the it doesn't leave anything on the ground so it's not like a permanent fire we've mostly used this just in our backyard throughout this year and um it doesn't leave any kind of evidence that that's where the fire was we don't have to worry about cleaning up the area around it there's not any ash to deal with um on the ground or anything like that that's just that's my favorite thing about it if we, if we were knew what we knew now we're purchasing for what we use it for which is mostly in the backyard like this Probably would have gone with a bonfire and I actually want to get one of those to be kind of permanent, more permanently used in the backyard. Uh, but the Ranger is certainly something I would want to have because for when we go uh, camping and haven't used it yet, but uh, Boy Scout camping, this would be great to take because it, uh, with, if you have the stand underneath it especially, it doesn't leave any marks. And that's a big part of when you go to scout camps, especially as you can't um, leave any marks on the ground. So this is definitely one uh, that would be a great investment for a s scout troop uh, to have, to be able to take in that way they can have a fire wherever they are uh, without having to worry about how, um, whatever the regulations are for the scout camp. Stay there. Okay, Django. <laughs> what in the world? This 